That 2016 year, like I said, you're really when you jumped on the scene and your best year at Carolina, I would say 23 catches, 217 yards. You had four touchdowns as well. Again, the tight end was a big part of that offense, an offense that sputtered a little bit early. Obviously, the insertion of Jake Bentley helped a lot, and I'm going to ask you about that. But you get your first touchdown and a loss at Mississippi State. And again, I know the game doesn't turn out the way you want, but just – Talk about, again, you're a guy, you battled so much adversity. You battled a coaching change. You thought you might transfer. You catch that first touchdown. I mean, what, what's the rush of emotion like for you after that? I mean, it was a huge rush of emotion. I just felt like I've come such a long way that me being able to catch my first touchdown was very, very huge to me. And, um, I mean, I, I hate that we took a loss. I mean, it was kind of it was kind of hard to celebrate a touchdown when we just took a loss. But just knowing that I was able to score after two years of just some rough times. So being able to score was a huge part. It's a huge part of my uh, career. Now, like I said, that 2016 year, really, really interesting. I, I thought you guys did a fantastic job getting the most out of what you had, obviously getting to the bowl game. But like I said, starting the year off, you had a little bit of a quarterback battle. Perry Orth and the freshman, Brandon McElwain, went back and forth. And about halfway through the year, you're two and four. Things aren't going your way. Uh, Will Muschamp and the staff, really, they decide to pull the red shirt on the freshman, Jake Bentley who felt like he was in college forever. But <laughs> Jake Bentley decided to pull the the, uh, the red shirt off of him, a guy that should have been in high school that year. We've all heard the story over and over and over again. But they pull that red shirt off. That UMass game comes up. You have a phenomenal diving touchdown catch, which if you want to expand on that, you certainly can. But I'd love to get your thoughts as well on just what do you think changed from – and it's all due respect to Perry and Brandon, but something changed. I mean, what changed inserting the young freshman? Because, again, I thought you saw – a new energy, new intensity. You guys finished the season four and two. I mean, what 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 clicked inserting Jake into the lineup? Well, I mean, we practiced on Sunday. So, uh, mm. Jake was the Sunday guy. Guys who didn't play a lot of practice in shells on Sunday. Mm. So, I mean, uh, I mean, just watching those Sunday practices, he kind of made you – if you were an older guy, most older guys left. Most Some older guys started staying, mm. kind of seeing, like, hey, I hear him talking a lot about this freshman. You just watch them start taking those steps, those steps, and they're finally opening them up to say, hey, Jay Bentley, you're going to play this week. You're going to start this week. I mean, he went out there and attacked it. And I, cause he, I, he's a very intelligent kid, uh, throws the ball very, very well. Mm. And, um, I mean, he just came in there on the spot. Yeah, and like I said, that UMass game, you had that diving catch. I'll, I'll ask you, best catch of your career? I mean, that's a heck of a catch. I mean, that's, yeah, would yeah. you say that was the best yeah, catch you ever had? Definitely the best. Definitely the best catch of my college career, for sure. Yeah, I, sure. I would – I would say you uh, definitely give some kudos to Jake. He put that – he put that – that was a dime. Oh, yeah. I mean, and you went and oh, made yeah. a play. It was a dime. Yeah, you, you went and, and made a play. I just told myself, I, and I don't get many balls, so, hey, wherever <laughs> I see it, it's close to You me, throw it to me, it. I have to catch it. There is <laughs> no if, ands, or buts, for sure. Um, Casey, I, I want to talk about, obviously, that Tennessee win, 2016, huge, huge win. Um, first win for Will Muschamp over a ranked team, but – Obviously, I think you know the moment that I want to talk about, and I'm sure you got an earful when you got back to the sideline, but um, everybody remembers the juju, the juju on the beat after you score the touchdown, Tennessee. Talk about the play. I mean, it was a great play. It looked like kind of a wheel route where you go up, and, I mean, you're wide open for the touchdown. You're wide open, like what, like a 30, 35-yard play or something. But yeah. talk about you catch it. You're going to – again, it's a night game. It's madness. You're wearing all black. I mean, the intensity, the energy – the emotions are there, but you get in the end zone and you do the dance, which you did a phenomenal job, by the way. And you, you, that's definitely not the first time you had done that. Um, just, just talk oh, about that entire sequence of events. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, now that we're not playing ball anymore, he's a GA in South Carolina right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Keo Pollitt. It's actually his fault because we kind of made it. We made it. <laughs> we made a bet the night before, like, hey man, whoever scores first has to do some kind of dance. And, and the biggest dance out at the time was the juju on the beat. So, I mean, at the time, it was kind of like, as I'm running the route, I'm like, I'm about to score. I keep telling myself in my head, like, I'm about to score. Like, should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? And I'm looking in the crowd. I'm running to the crowd. I see everybody screaming. I'm like, I got to do it. I got to do it. And, I mean, I knew what was coming behind it. You know, much Champ gave me here for, you know, he, he gives you that famous pull you very close and, and does his thing. So, uh. But um, luckily, uh, that penalty didn't hurt us and cause us to come back and lose. So, I mean, I definitely appreciate the defense on that. So, so now we know the truth. It's Kiel Pollard's fault. We're, 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 we're putting yeah, yeah, yeah. Pollard, exactly. for sure. It's his fault. 
Yeah, oh just man. For sure. Yeah, and you for sure. and you. I was gonna say you got some. You got some great FaceTime on ESPN. <laughs> I mean that that was like all over like the Sports Center top. Yeah, team. it was everywhere. I mean it, it was, was just everywhere. replay, just cycling. Solidified. Yeah. Yep. Just solidify that as a legendary moment for sure. So. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> 